this case you guys would know, I wanted to rant on my own show. So, here we go. Borny and Friends was a TV show starring me, a purple purple ty- a purple and green tyrant of course Rex, who you can see right there. Oh, that, oh, that was my, that's my co-worker's mom calling him. Anyways, that, yeah, it was, uh, the concept was created, uh, in 1992, on, uh, yeah, April 1992, and, uh, let me just say, uh, Like, anyways, anyways, it was, the concept, the show was created in April 1992, a year after my home video series, Orny in the Backyard Gang. Um, last thing I remember was, I celebrated my 200 millionth birthday on March 1992, because I was born in the month of March. Anyways, I want to tell me what... What uh, 1992, the year, the 200 million year was, like, the year was 200 million years ago. Anyways, it was the show would feature a musical segment. Um, char- other characters like Baby Bob, BJ, like other dinosaur characters. Now a couple of human characters like Professor Tinkerbot, Mr. Boyd, that was a storyteller, and a whole lot of people. In the first, I would just, I would invite some of my friends who are famous people, or like in this one episode, season five, episode six, that uh, the studio was so big, we actually had a band. An entire marching band to come play. And if you saw the colors of the flag, you could probably tell that it was in the title of this episode. So the band was made for me. Well, it was led by someone, but it was called Barney's Band. Anyways, my thoughts on the show was it's good, but. Like, the later seasons, it wasn't so great. You know what I'm saying? Well, the voice acting. The voice acting wasn't so great when it comes to, when it came to me. My clone, who was known as Millennium Barney, who was created on January 2002. You, you might know him for the later seasons. I... And the original Barney from 1988 to 2001. Hold on, hold on a second. Oh, sorry, but that was my co workers. Anyway, that it's like, I, like from 1988 to 2001 or early 2002. Well, the Barney Beach Party was my last appearance. So, from, from Backyard Game to Season 3, that was my golden age. Well, Backyard Game to Season 6. That was my golden age. My clone carried the series on for me. Now we'll be returning for the reboot. So, um, to to celebrate my 30th anniversary on television. So, anyways, um, what else? There was this little trade I had where we would have the same cast of characters or, or like, how would this? My clone, well, my clone, um, Millennium Barney, or clone 256, his episode. His show, there was one where Dean Whitted wins the current voice actor. Like, I really hope my 
explained that Lieutenant Dixon gets the heart for Barney, school for me. Because he's a really, really good voice actor, even though his voice is a little deep. It's like too deep as by the deepest things. But that that's besides the point. Oh, like every from season six and on, no, from two thousand six and on, the show would always introduce new songs that would never be sung. And the most iconic one would be "I love you, you love me, we're a happy family with a great that one," or "Mr. Nickelback, Bob and Bob." I like the way that you bop and bop. Or, um, uh, or the theme song. Yeah, those are more iconic songs that were more likely sung. And I'll tell you this, we never sung Mr. Knickerbocker ever at all in season 3. Like, we never did. <laughs> because it was some little thing, it would. And I, I'll tell you, in some episodes, if you pay attention to the end credits, David Joyner did not play, did not portray me in the costume in the later season 4 episode. He returned in 1998, my 10th anniversary, which was my 10th anniversary, my, I would, my show, my, just, well, me, I will be celebrating my 30th anniversary on October 2018. But, oh wait, no, August 2018. Yeah. And here's another, another thing. The first Backyard Gang release was actually A Day at the Beach. To renew the script, if you pay attention to the kids, they did not know who I was because that was the first video released. Or well, first video made. The first video released was the Backyard Show. See that one? The Backyard Show spun off the home video franchise. But a, a Day at the Beach, which was my young... I was younger because I was blue. I was, I was dark blue, like indigo. So, but I will continue on this rant, but sum it all up. The show was good, but... And my character, my personality, I can I'm optimistic on TV, but you guys never experience what I go through, where we're not, when the episodes are not aired. Like, I get so annoyed, like, oh my god. <laughs> it's like, I do not want to get, you guys do not experience the Barney that has to get up at about 5.30 in the morning. Do his homework, go to the auditorium with a bunch of annoying classmate dinosaurs. Uh, like you guys have not, yeah, never had to experience. You guys have never seen, but I don't want to show you, cause it will ruin my character. But anyways, you guys never experienced the the born you have to get up at five somewhere around five thirty in the morning. And he's like drowsy, grumpy, and like cranky. Like, oh my god, I do not want to get up. Like, uh, I'll be swearing, I'll be falling out of bed. And from all, I'm, I'm crawling flat on my face, and using my hands to move to my computer. Because, like, I have short hands and big muscular legs. Like, no elbows. But, anyway. You uh, experience the Barney get stuck in traffic. By the way, this is in Cartoon Land. I'm a cartoon. You guys never uh, experienced that Barney. So, my personality on the show is an optimistic, joyful dinosaur who really, who doesn't, who always isn't happy. Even on the show, I get hurt and I X. And it really does. I remember one time I slipped on a toy truck. I landed. I landed flat on the. My back landed on the little shelf with the toys on it. I fell flat on my, flat on my other side. 
and my left arm was recently sore from the last episode, season ep- season one, episode two, or season one, episode one. That was episode playing it safe, and that one I actually I actually fell down on the ground on the show. Other times I would just walk dizzy. That was the only time I ever fell down. Actually, and my tail is still sore from from cringing so hard I broke the bone that was recently fixed. That got fixed in 1992. It takes a long time for dinosaur tails to heal, especially for me. Anyways, this this will be this rant was ten minutes long. I was just telling you guys a little something about me. Anyway, shout out to D Tom, Ashley Ryan, and all my other subscribers, Travis Payne, and uh, all the people that's been supporting me, even though I had to switch to so many channels under my name. And I I recently I explained this, explained that, in a, in a previous video, but I would just like to thank them again. And, uh, D-Tom, uh, yeah, I would like to thank you for saying my show is the best, you know, to, even though it's that weird that it's, uh, even though Sesame Street got me beat. You hate there. Barney, cause... Yeah. Right. And forget Dora the Explorer. Uh, Barney and Friends is so many times better than Caillou. Well, yeah, I could, ag- I, I agree with you on that one. Yeah, because Caillou, I've known him for like freaking 20 years. Because he recently popped up out of nowhere. He started on the scene, and I was like, oh my god, he's so whiny. But that's the Barney you, even the Tom has ever seen. That's the Barney that, like, I'm like the, what is if I'm not happy, I'm just like the, the average fat guy. Who's so a fat dinosaur. But if you hate this show, I will be I, I will be nice and respect your opinion on it. Because I understand why you hate Barney. Because, yeah, it's been going on. The hate towards this guy has been going on for a long time. It really has. Especially when there was a little pro event called Barney Bashing. And to all the people that participated in it, I can respect, I can see how you would not like me. But do you have to to exploit it to everyone, including me, because I recently just watched it. And I was so mad. That I literally almost punched a big dent in my wall. Out of anger. And people were like disrespecting me. I don't take disrespect kindly. But I have to. Otherwise. You guys don't want to know. Well, I have to. But that's because that's the way I was born. I was born as a nice dinosaur. But, like I said, when I saw it, I was so freaking mad. Like, how could anyone just let this happen? Like, what have I done to them? I'm just doing my job. Just making kids' lives happier. They, now, they can respect that, or they just not watch the show at all. They do not have to. Break me in half, or have my best friend Big Bird, my other best friend Big Bird, attack me. I'm telling you, all those people who, who said they hate me in front of the camera, and all of them they'll just smash me with mallets and stuff. Still on thin ice. To a point where, well, now I don't even know them, but. If I did, they, they, it's like, I, I don't know. 
I just wish people weren't so mean. 